Nothing is bigger than OT7 right now. It's into double coverage! Oh. It doesn't matter! Just by the patent on the towel! Yes, sir! Beautiful! It is day three of OT7 here in Vegas, and all I keep getting asked is how did Overtime pull this off? That's right, they brought the most elite 7v7 teams from all across the country to compete for a championship in a one-of-a-kind seven-on-seven league. I've seen some of the best plays and the best celebrations out here. So let's kick off another epic game as we get set to watch the great matchup between some of my favorites, Midwest Boom from Chicago and Hustle Inc. representing the A. I'm your boy, Destroying. Hey. I'm joined by MMG. What's good, my boy? <laughs> Excited to be back. The sun is still shining for day, well, not day three this and day three. game three. Yes, uh, we've sir. got Hustle Inc., their first time on the big field. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is game time. The horns is blowing. Got our first pass of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. It's a deep one. And he's at top. <laughs> That's how you start a game. Head top. Sheesh. Michael uh, Matthews, we uh, were just talking about this man. Uh, That's why he's ranked so high. Going up top, single oh coverage God. on the left side. Big body mismatch. Uh, bro, he Hangs on, that on to it. Absolutely. He on that hey, they making us sound like professionals, right? You talk about the receiver. <laughs> I talked about the quarterback. Head tap to start nice. the game. How they about that? Us, Devin. How about that? Head taps all around. Hustle uh. Link already about to put some points up. Their first time on the big Roll stage. Out to the right. Let's see if they Nobody execute. open. Time. Time. I'm still thinking about that dunk, bro. That was oh nice. We need God. to go get that stuff. Hey, run that back. Hey, run that again, play please. back. Run can, that way back. Can I please see it again? That was, that was. That's oh, how you start off. They was like, put us on Mayfield some more. What is y'all doing? That's how hey, that was the problem. Right? They, want, they want the bright lights, right? They didn't play so well because wasn't nobody watching. Right? They waited to see what somebody was watching. Hey, but one thing I'll say about Midwest Boom, and we've seen this in the four games they play, they play some of the best red zone defense in seven on seven that I've seen. Them boys got straps. And they're continuing right now. You get a sack right there. Uh, two more plays for Hustling to put this in the end zone. Let's Them see what they got. Them boys got straps. It's red zone, strap up. Oh, He's looking left. Easy. Ooh. easy. Yeesh. Three plays, that's all it took. Cameron Three Boyd. plays, that's all it took. Cameron, Cameron Boyd, Moore a beautiful, beautiful out route. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that route was flawless. It's, a, it's the classic whip route, right? You dive inside and then run back out, and the ball the placement hits. is impeccable. Yep. They come to play here on the main field. <laughs> Hustle Link is saying, please put us on the main field some more. We need that. We need that. And they're going to go for 2-2, two, two, guys. Great throw. Yep, hustling, going from the 10-yard line. Let's see what they got in their bag. He's throwing He's, over the oh. Oh. Uh, A little out of his reach. Yep. A little high. Hey. I ain't going to lie. So when you're playing quarterback. Touch his hands. When you're playing quarterback, that's exactly where you want to throw the ball. Back line, you want to throw up. Hairline on top of Afro, but just, just a little bit too high, ah. and you fingertips. can't get it. Hit his fingertips, man. All right, now. I'll give him a pass. Cole Chester, he has something to prove. He's on offense. Boom. Midwest boom. Boom. These boys are so exciting to watch. There he is on your screen. You think they're going to gun Teshner. it? First play? No, they're going to take what defense give him. You know, Cole Chester is he's, he's a precise quarterback. He said his comparison, Josh Allen. He said he wants the TikTok, though. Look, he looking. He looking. He looking. He, he looking. He looking. Oh, that might be. Oh, my God. Did he catch yeah, that? Oh, my God. He caught that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Four offensive hey, plays in the game. All right, everybody hey, won. 12 points on the board. They said he got a TikTok. They said he got a TikTok. Does this man have his phone? They said he got a TikTok. Does this man have his phone? <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hey, I don't know how great the TikTok was, how do I but I'm that, telling though? you, the throw, the catch. Amazing. Beautiful. Ooh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Let's see Take a again. look at this. I mean, this is what we call dropping a dime and then a mm. combat catch. Mm. Oh, right mm. at the back line. Yeah, he mm. didn't have the yard oh. to spare. Look at the little TikTok dance. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> These kids and they dancers nowadays, man. It's crazy. I love it. <laughs> it's crazy. They decided to go for one. Yep. What's he got? What's he got? Back in the end zone. zone. Time. It's going to be a sack. Nope. 
Tom, 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 Tom. No catch anyway. I love the start though, right? I love what? the start. Hell of a we're start. five minutes in. <laughs> Hell of a start. We already got two head taps. Uh -huh. Man, we got we to gotta get this Atlanta squad over here oh a little more. Oh my God. Hey, hey, producers, please get him on field once some more, man. Please get him on field once some more, man. Let's see what this next possession looks like, though. Yeah, we're speaking drops. too early. We're speaking too I early. No, nah, I think we're in store for a lot of that. All right. All right. Let's see that. Deep drop back. Can be unloading again. Oh well, yeah, Jeez. this man. Nice. That boy stressed up and got that one. Yeah, he's throwing that rock, man. That boy stressed up Antonio and got that White, one. White, beautiful catch for about 20 yards here. You know what Looks I really like a love? Very deep dig. Yeah, mm. what do you got, Dev? You, McClellan is doing a great job of dropping, right? So you see a lot of quarterbacks not really take a drop, and their clock gets sped up, right? So the routes aren't ready, and they start getting happy feet coming off mm -hmm. things. He's taking a nice big drop, as you can see right there, yep. and he's getting the ball out quickly on time. Uh. I like been, these boys. <laughs> that might I have like been the em. first check down of the game. I like these boys. <laughs> Remember, when you get down in close, it makes it way more difficult to try to get the ball in the end zone because there's just not a lot of space. Defense can play a lot tighter yeah. down close. Let's see what he's got. Second down here for Hustle Inc. Coach Audible. Inches Coach Audible. to go to reset the chains. They're in a really good position here. Oh, yeah. Did he get touched? And there's three. Yeah, he got touched at the three-yard line. Short. We have seen a lot of him. Cameron Boyd once again inching closer to the end zone. Three more plays for Hustling to get in the end zone. You got me? This might be one of the highest scoring games we've had. If it continues like this. We've seen a lot of confidence from the quarterback and uh, Hustling here too. Are they gonna get an end zone right here or what? What's the over and under? <laughs> the over's hitting. <laughs> You're betting, I can tell you that. Let's see what Hustling's got. A little motion across. Box back once again. Back of the end and there oh, it okay. is. To the pit they go. <laughs> to the pit they go. The pit. Wait, front flip cam. One, one two, two, three. three. Four, four. Oh. Oh. Somebody. <laughs> Bro, they're running into each other. You know, one thing I'm so grateful for in OT7, no injuries quite yet. I don't know, but I think if we're, getting, is, if we're getting one, it's a pit. Hey, the thing, it looks so unsafe, <laughs> but nobody's gotten injured, right? So, I mean, just keep rolling. <laughs> no cleats to the dome, no nothing. Sheesh. <laughs> There's a little collision here, though. Wait, we're going to see it. Look. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Midwest Boom. They're going for two, they're going for two. Offense. Back in the end zone. Apologies, folks. Yeah. Now keep in mind an interception on a PAT counts for nothing. Normally it would be three points though, so that just means it's six to twelve, six point lead, hustle inc. And Midwest Boom gets the ball on offense. Six to twelve, baby. I like it. I like it. I like new, it. New quarterback. My boom boys oh. gotta bounce back. Usually I get nervous when they do a quarterback change back there, but this guy is just as talented, both talented. as Teshner. He can sling the rock just as well. Jerry Kaminsky. No relation to Frank. Oh, yeah. Ah, he got to get his head around quicker. That's a nice throw, right? Because the defense uh -huh. is on top. He puts it on the back shoulder. We got to make that catch every time. We got we to gotta make it. Yeah, he got to get his head around. Man. You know what's been really cool th this whole week is the ball placement for these young quarterbacks, mm -hmm. right? From the 24s to the mm -hmm. 23s and some of some of the 26s, right? The ball placement has been so exceptional. And you try to get, like, college guys to have mm -hmm. great ball placement. And these young guys are doing it without And the, the thing thought. is, it's challenging conditions too, man, because I don't know if you guys can tell at home, but it's super windy. It is so super windy. windy. They zipping, aerodynamics. Nice yes, sir. pass break up from Hustle Inc. Hustle Link is hustling, boy. They are. Defense looking good, man. Hey, this is a scary game to have a turnover on downs. It's been nothing but offense. They've got 15 yards to go here for Midwest Boom to reset these chains. Let's see what we got. And keep in mind, there's one blitz per game. This might not be the worst time for Hustle Link to use it. I think one turnover is the difference in this game. And I see someone creeping up. That might be a blitz. Let's see if he comes. Nope. No, no he's not coming. He's not coming. Dropping back. Need 15. Rifles in. Pick. And that's an eye. Pick. And Hustle Team. Link pick. And he quit in front of a quarterback, too. Absolutely. Producer, who caught that pick? Who caught that pick, Michael sir? Daudry with the interception. Mm. They're headed to the pit. What's it? It's a backflip cam this time. Hey, the, the offense is ready, though. Hey, Look at the, the offense. Coach the offense is, is ready, They're too. already out here. The offense is already ready. That's how you play. I like these boys, I love man. it. I like these Wide boys. Wide open. 
I like these boys. If 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 they go down and score right here, I'm going to get McClellan because I have to ask, <laughs> were you just waiting to get on the big field? Like, <laughs> true. Hey, I that's love genius, these boys. too. The way they got up on offense is genius. Some of these teams are kind of lackadaisical here at OT7, slowly getting the line, setting up their plays. There's no rules against what they just did. They hustled to the line. Midwest Moon was not ready at all, and they chunked them for 20 without even thinking about it. Hustle Inc. taking a command. Hustle lead Inc. said, put some respect on our name. Uh huh. Put some respect on us. Deep drop. Yes, sir. Going short. Oh, my God. Oh, I was about to say. I was about to say. I was about to say. That boy almost rocked the baby. Uh. Hey, that, hey, that's a scary position to be what? in for the defender, right? You got this short, <laughs> short, stocky guy doing all these moves. You like he Kyrie, dancing. Kyrie uh, in the, uh, in the uh, first round because the Nets got on out of there quick. And that's Cameron Ooh. Boyd right there for Hustle Inc. I hope you picked him up in fantasy. I think he's got five receptions, a touchdown. Yeah, he's nice, he's nice. And we're not even halfway through this game. Of numbers. That boy is nice. Let's see what we got. He's Head looking top. right side. Uh -oh. oh! Yes, sir. Beautiful. Another one. Another Michael one. Michael Matthews. Hey, that's the number one safety in 2024. It looks like he can play a little offense as well. Another one. Hustle Inc. How many times are they going to jump in the pit? They're, they're one and three. I can't stress enough. They're one and three coming into this. Midwest Boom is three and one. Mm. And Hustle Inc. has all but put the dagger in this game. 15-point lead. Beautiful throw. Beautiful catch. He didn't have, he didn't have to jump for that one. He just wanted to make it look oh, pretty. I, I, feel like, I feel like you guys are acting surprised when I told you this young guy <laughs> you can throw this rock. You did. I hear you. I you told did. you. I'm sorry, Devin. If I had an Emmy, I would have known that. <laughs> <laughs> Our first flag in this game. It's been a very sound game, though. Yeah, both these teams are very disciplined. They're doing their job. So a loss of downs for Hustle Link. They don't get their PAT, but not entirely sure they're going to need it. But Teshner's back in for Midwest Boom. Definitely need him right now. I just gave him hey, a follow on the ground I'm yesterday. I'm down, here, I'm down here with the quarterback who obviously just came out of nowhere because, mm. you know, he's been here He's all gone. Week. But, Woo. you know, you come into this game one and three, Mr. McClellan. Were you just waiting to get <laughs> on the main field to make sure everybody know what time it is? Uh, come show the family, uh, get to show the uh, talent, show that we the best out here. Well, you're, you're looking real good right now. I, I don't know what, what you're holding back, but I told him you got that. You, you can throw that rock, huh? You can throw that rock? Yeah. You sure. can throw that rock. That boy got an arm. Keep throwing that rock. All right. That boy got an arm. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that was almost another one. Incomplete. Got to have that. Man, I wish, they'd right make, now. I wish they'd play fumbles in this game, man. They'd honor fumbles. Just pick it up. But hey, nah, it's, it's, it's seven good. on. It's you seven know, on. It's good practice, though. Hey, guys, I'm, I'm just telling you, our partner, Overtime Tom, is somewhere pulling his hair out. Because this is Midwest Boom. He was openly, this is his team. And he is somewhere almost on the, get the revolver out of his locker zone. Say. <laughs> Don't do it, Tom. Don't do it. Don't do it. Back of the end zone. Oh, my God. Wait, did he catch that? Oh my God, <laughs> Malik LZ, four oh. star. Hey, we've Ooh. seen a Jeez. lot of great catches from that kid during That's this why tournament. Why they give him the stars? Hey, somebody, we need to superimpose. Oh no, branding. We need to put the Jordan logo on the screen oh, because God. he looked like Mike Jordan with oh, the reach and the, the legs extended. Uh, Mike Jordan, take a picture. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. Jump Midwest man, Boom man. has the two best highlight plays of overtime seven. Oh I gotta say, God, against Mopro yesterday and that catch right there. That's an NFL catch too, two feet oh in. Oh my God. Jump man, bro. jump man, yeah that's him. Hey, yeah, this that's is a huge two point conversion right here. Do they have it? Uh, Not flag, but a flag, flag on the play. play. If that's on the defense, they're flag gonna get play. another chance. Flag on the play. Oh my God, that was a beautiful freaking catch. Devin, can you see what that is down there? It might have been defensive holding. That's what it's looking like, because they're not walking the ball back. Mm -hmm. So a quick defensive hole, and they're going to get a redo of the try. Yep. Hey, this is huge. Right now, nine-point game. It is a two-possession lead. I don't want to speak too soon. If they get this, 14 to 21 and a stop, oh, yeah. can still take it. We've got ourselves a game if they if they get this in the end zone. Mm -hmm. All right, Tashner. What's the play? Ten yards to go. Let's see. Let's see. One man in motion. Scan the field. 
Easy. He's looking oh, short. Easy. Did he get it? He got that in there. He's he got, got that it. in there. Yep. We've got ourselves a ball game. <laughs> sure do. Seven-point hey. game. You know what I love about Hustle Link's quarterback, McClellan, over here? He's listed He's... as a wide receiver. What? Did you notice that? Four-star wide receiver I didn't notice that, but, but guess what? Stick with me, and I got the answers for you. That boy is a quarterback. <laughs> I Remember, it. I told you he's a great athlete, yeah. but he can throw that rock. Yeah. Uh, mm. and, and you can see he has kind of a slight frame, right? He's not the biggest guy in the world, but the zip on the ball is impressive, right? He gets this ball all the way on the outside in a hurry. Man, well, is it always this windy in Vegas, man? Or did we just pick the wrong weekend for this tournament? Yeah, we well, Destroy, you know, you the guy that's always in Vegas. You know, you, you know, you're a very popular guy, so you let us know is it no, always hey, this windy in Vegas. I don't come to Vegas that much, man. It's probably like my third time out here. It's only my third day. Oh, they coming. They coming. Boom, blitz. Ah. Excellent use to the blitz here for Midwest Boom. Third down coming up. About eight yards to go to reset the chains. Like we said, I mean, you get the turnover on downs, you get two points. Yep. You can feel the sense of urgency for the coaches here. This is a big eight yards. Let's go. You got that route you in the flat. Let's go. Little substitution. Mike Matthews, who had that spectacular touchdown catch last time, just came in the game. You might see this coming. They might air it out for him. That's what I'm thinking. They just might air it out. This is the biggest play of the game right here. Hustling. They airing it out for him. Never mind. He's looking down the middle. That's the biggest no play of the game. Oh, good no stop flags. by Midwest Boom. Turnover. That's and the boys is at a two. Yep. Mm -hmm. Four minutes left in this game. All Five right. point ball game. Uh, oh, do you, what, how do you guys feel about the quarterback? Oh, right? Man. Because you, you get you get Teshner who just drove down and scored, and, and they switched the quarterback out. What do you think the, the idea is behind this? Hey, they, they spread the love, man. Both guys can get the job done. Oh. oh, that's a deep one. Oh. Oh, he should have laid out for that. Picked off. He should have laid out for that. I'm getting a little bit of deja vu here. Midwest <laughs> Boom was playing low pro, and in the final seconds, oh. Teshner throws a touchdown, yes. wins the ball game. He does. That is Although, what happened. Teshner's, Teshner's not the not quarterback. Right <laughs> that's why I said it, right? Playing. You see that throw was almost interception. We already saw interception earlier. So I, I don't understand the reasoning behind taking Teshner out of the game. But, right, you got to play with who's out there. and. Boom is on the drop. Hey, we need some crucial reps for the backup. I'll tell you that. A little motion. There's the blitz from Hustle Link. Oh, Evades the, the blitz easily. Oh. And he throws. Cross the body like that? That was a beauty. Cross the body Look, like I'm that? Look, I know Zebra, but he may have been about a half yard past that line. I ain't gonna lie, I've seen it too. Yeah. I've seen it too. The foot <laughs> might have been on the line. Hey, it's all good, because Zebras didn't see it. If you're a Midwest Boom fan, good for you. You've got third down, about a yard to go. Possibly the last offensive Look at that. possession. Oh, oh my goodness. Midwest Boom. The, Look at win, that. the oh. wind must have died down right away because that was a duck. Mm -hmm. How hard is it to make that throw, Devin? You that was very difficult. Running left and trying to get those hips around, throw right. But he does a great job. What is he doing? Oh, Who is he throwing to? Sketchy ball and Who easy interception. Who is he to? I said it before the drive. I don't know why Tessa's not in the game. Mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. Questionable call, it was nice reps for the backup quarterback, but he threw this. The, the thing is, ghosts. He, he threw that up like it was third down. Like you have another down. Oh, no, that was third down. Oh, that third was down. third down. He threw it up, but you can't They turn needed it over. a yard. They were looking for something short. Hustle Inc. had it all locked up, and I, I think he just. I, threw I don't a know where he was looking, y'all. I really don't know. He just kind of tossed it, it in the air. They're in the headlights. My moves too big. Fist down his leg. <laughs> <laughs> Just not an athlete. <laughs> you, would you, I go deep here. Change of possession. Yeah. Momentum nah, you gotta shift. Be aggressive. I go deep. You gotta be up. Uh, are thinking uh, what you're thinking, Devin. That's it to double coverage. Oh, it doesn't my matter. God. Please. Oh my God. Can you believe that Mike Matthews is listed as a safety? That's his third touchdown 
He is running oh, this game right now. they called it a sack. No! no. Oh, they called it a sack. Ref. They, they Ref. stole that moment from us. No. They stole this beautiful throw. Can we, can we oh, challenge? Over the defense. We'll throw it in the highlight reel Hey, guess reel what? Anyway. It's still on the highlight. It's still on the highlight. They Absolutely. jumped in the pit and all. Oh, man. Wow. Can we challenge plays out here? Oh, man. They stole that one. No hey, that's like, way. that's like a highlight dunk. Yeah. And then you call an offensive foul. Oh, what my are we doing? God. Hey, let's see if we can do it again. Right? This is ball don't lie right here. Let's see if we can do it again. I love the ball don't lie, MMG. I love it. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds left in this game. They're going short. I think they're just electing to take the win at this point. Bleed the clock, baby. 20 seconds left. It actually is over if they choose. They could just walk this one out. Ball. We'll see if Damn. they call one more. I think these gentlemen are shaking hands. Ball game, ladies That's and it. gentlemen. That's it. Crucial win for Hustle Inc. Woo. I like these boys, man. They said put some respect on our name. Let us get some more games on field one. They earned it. We are like that. They earned it. We are like that. That does it, ladies and gentlemen. Midwest Boom first Hustle Link, 16 to 24. If you did the content, make sure y'all boys like. Make sure y'all subscribe and make sure you comment because we got more games coming your way. So do not go anywhere. For MMG and Devin, I'm Mr. Destroying. We're going to catch y'all next time. Peace out. The hottest thing in Las Vegas right now is the kickoff of OT7's inaugural season, where 18 elite teams have come across the country and they will be competing for a chip and bragging rights to be the best seven on seven team in the country. We got two teams tonight that have plenty to play for and they want to get their hands on that championship trophy. We've got the South Florida boys, DEFCON, who will have their hands full trying to stop Nico Iyama Leova and those Toa boys. I'm Devin Gardner alongside Alex, a.k.a. Overtime Alex. We've had a lot of great football, and why not finish it with a top five quarterback in the country? We have a great one today. First of all, great to see you it's here, DG. You. Let's go 98. Hey, we have a great matchup today. Team Toa, they've got three stars, they've got four stars. They're based out of Cali, but the main attraction is the Nico show. Nico Iyamaliava, say that five times fast. <laughs> He's a five star, he's going to Tennessee. He is a big ticket in this tournament. Keep your eyes on him. It's There's a lot of Tennessee commits and none are bigger than Nico. This is gonna be a fun one, DG. All right, speaking of Nico, we're gonna toss it down to the third member, Overtime Tom, who's down there with Nico Iyamaliava. Let's there go. go. Thomas, go. what's up, buddy? What you got? Yo, we're all talking about Nico this, Nico that, and you should. He's like the best player in the freaking world. But DEFCON's got guys too, okay? Keon Jenkins, quarterback for them. Their whole team told me he throws absolute darts. They got a ton of playmakers. They're super aggressive. I'm looking for an upset here. All right, you called it. You got an upset. Who, 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 are, you, are you biased in any way? No, 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 no. Hey, I'm hey, hey, team, team Toa is 2-0. They've looked good. Yeah. And, uh, and and I'm ready to see Nico in his pajamas. He's got the Sesame Street PJs on. You don't see that every day. It's a nice job getting the, getting the drive started. You know, when you have a, a start of a drive in any form of football, 7-on-7 seven seven real football, you want to make sure you get the oh, drive started, so especially cool. in the beginning of the game. So he does a great job of getting the ball out quickly. And, and they're riding high right now. They're 2-0, but they got a big win against SFE. Right? That's a, a rivalry type of thing between those two quarterbacks and Malachi Ness, Nelson and Nico. And so they're riding high, but let's see if they can come back down and play this game against DEFCON. That's true. We're just good. we're gonna do this side. So when you play with it, you yeah, I mean Nico's just taking right now everything that's given to him underneath, and I like that because he's not forcing it. My first impression, because this is only the second game seven on seven that we've seen Nico so far. He's so composed in the pocket. He looks like he's he's relaxed in his living room, feet up on the chair. Pajamas on. Pajamas on. Oh, wait, he does have pajamas on. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like you said, super boy, but he knows exactly where he wants to go with the ball. And, and it helps when you have your dad as your coach, right? He knows what you look at him. Look at him right now. He knows how you tick, and he knows how to make sure that you find completions, and that's what he's been doing all day. Yo, his dad must be, what, 6'7", six, 6'8"? Six, I mean, I'm just, you know, I had to do an interview with him earlier. It was very uncomfortable.
How, how tall are you? I'm 6'4". And he made me look like some little kid running around. You're only 6'4"? Only. Damn. Right. Pretty, pretty short. <laughs> Damn. I'm glad we're sitting behind a desk for this because, you There goes you know, those I'm six, aforementioned six. pajamas. Sesame Street. Did you watch Sesame Street growing up? Of course I watched Sesame Street. You gotta know the ABC. Of course, of Mr. course. Mr. Count, a one, a two, of course. a three, a four. And that was a pretty good voice, too. <laughs> that was pretty good. Nice. A five. A five completion. <laughs> a five completion on a on, on a three stop on a three step drop there. Yeah. Tom, what's going on down there? All right, we'll get back to you there, Tom. Hey, let me ask you this, because we were just talking about Nico's height. You were a tall quarterback at Michigan. How important do you think? Because Nico's got to be what, like six five, six six? Yeah, he's six how, five. How much of an advantage is that? even more so for seven on seven, or it does not really help because you don't really have a line. So I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't think, I found, I don't think height helps you in a way. I think it almost Ooh. sometimes works against you where the defense can see the ball come out. Another nice throw, does, isn't gonna be a touchdown, but a nice throw by Nico on the outside. But the, they see the ball coming out. When you're a smaller guy, if you can do a good job of finding windows, they never see the ball coming, you know? And so I think that kind of can be an advantage as long as you learn how to find windows. Think about it, I'm 6'4", if I have a center that's 6'4", I can't see over him, right? So any type of quarterback at any I'm stand size, on this. you need to find the windows. And Nico's doing a very good job, obviously. Yeah. No linemen, no windows, but he's doing a good job. First and goal, Nico drops back. Hey, bobbled in. There you go. Quick touchdown, Cassius Ashtiani. I don't know if I got that right there, but either way, Cassius, Cassius, Ca Cassius Clay. Hey, if mama named Clay, I'm gonna call him Clay. <laughs> yeah. But that's a good job of him going out and coming back in and Nico doing a good job of getting it to him. I mean, this tour team, has come and they've surprised, right? They've shown that we came to play. We don't have all the five stars that all the other teams have, but we play together and we have a superstar quarterback. And I, I think we'll see it here on the extra point too. I think the reason that they I'm found try success to early. Oh, wait, I'll, we'll save this for after this play here. Woo! I think the reason that Team Toa has had success early is a lot of these passes have been timing routes. And it's clear they have great chemistry. You know, Nico and his wideouts are on the same page. It's clear that, you know, his wideouts weren't just dropped in his hands yesterday. Yeah. He's been working with these guys for a minute. And the thing is, when you can play on time, you can be successful. On that extra point attempt, they call it pass interference or holding, which is very clear. You got the arm wrapped around the back. It looks like it's a good defensive play, but he had his arm wrapped around for quite some time. So they're going to get a redo. But you're absolutely right. The timing that they're, they're being able to play with, and it allows your quarterback to have a plan and play with precision. And he doesn't have to worry about guys going the wrong way and different things like that, which some of these quarterbacks are kind of having to deal with. Nico, directing traffic. Ooh. Incomplete. I, w I wouldn't say a big hit there, but but good contact from uh, from Sands there. Yeah, I mean, don't let don't let don't tell that to Sands because he act like he just decapitated the guy. Sorry, excuse me, Hudson. They've got two number twos. That's my fault. Yeah, Hudson's looking, standing over him like he just decapitated him, which he did not. He did not. He, he did not. Bad ball away. Let the guy get up and get out of here. Because guess what? Your off your offense have to respond, and they're up right now. Jenkins drops back. Complete to hard. So Jenkins, class of 2023, he uh, he has a couple offers so far, but but this team has a lot of confidence in Jenkins, and I'm excited to see him today. Yeah, I mean they're taking a page out of the Toa book, right? Not trying to go to the deep shot. We saw uh -huh. early in the turn, seven on sevens, we saw a bunch of deep shots, but now we can see teams kind of take what the defense gives them, and then the deep shot for a touchdown. Isaiah Hard. That was beautiful. I'm that really was beautiful. I wonder what that pit is like. It oh. seems so bouncy. Hey, I've been, I've been in that pit about seven times in the last two days. It's uh, you get you get you get trapped down there. Is it a trampoline in there? It, it's bouncy. It's bouncy. Tom, what's going on down there? Um, I was trying to talk to Nico. He's way too cool for me, which is super unfortunate. But this DefCon team came to play. I'm. This is like a quarterback battle all of a sudden. I was not ready for this. That was a nice throw. If you don't know, now you know. Tom, nice lightsaber, by the way. The lightsaber and the mini mic. Take a look at this slot fade, one of the most unguardable routes. When the slot receiver takes the fade route, it's so much field to cover for the defensive back, and they often don't stop it. Ooh. 
Got a tight window there. Very close to being complete, incomplete. 6-6. Six, six. Team Toa getting the ball back here. So now we go from, oh no, it looks like we have the same Iyamaliava hey, brother. You want to talk real quick? The beautiful girl. Beautiful at, girl. at some point during this game, we're going to see the other Iyamaliava brother, Madden. He's class of 2025, younger brother. Man, don't nobody say that Iyamaliava like you say that. Yo, Iyama I've got Liava. it down. I've got My it down. Goodness. Tom, what's going on down there? I got Stug QB over here just doing absolute dime. Everyone's talking about Nico, but you guys, you better than him? What's the deal? Of course. I mean, I don't compare myself to a lot of people, but I know what I can do and what I'm capable of. And I'll say I'm the most underrated quarterback coming out of 2023. A lot of people are saying this might be an upset if you pull it off. You gonna, you gonna do it? Of course, no doubt, never doubt. Let's get it, good luck, let's go. Hey, I was talking to Keon before the game and he has that underdog mentality that, that I love, he's just, He's a dog. He's got a chip on his shoulder. He's I saying, yeah, it. I'm not six feet tall, but I can play with the best of them, too. I love it. You, I mean, I, I would never expect the kid to say, oh, hey, Nico's that got him. Nico's me. got him. The wheel route. Cassius for six. As we just finished the conversation with the other quarterback who says I'm better, it's it's like the court, It's like Nico could hear it and like, I'll show you. I see your Damn. touchdown, and I raise you another one. I mean, he was. that was a great route. He got great separation early. The throw was on the money. I can tell you right now that Nico is in his proverbial bag, if you will. <laughs> he's in that bag. <laughs> Take a look how he surveys the defense and then throws the wheel. Takes some of the air out of the ball because he knows that the cover two safety is running over the top. So he takes some air out of it, makes sure that the ball gets down fast, and then it's a walk into the end zone. Hey, we've seen Nico fired in there. We've seen him have a lot of touch on his passes. We've seen these timing routes. We've seen the full bag huh, from Nico. Yeah. And we're still early in this game. Nice play there on the point after. And Defcon will get the ball back. All right, let's see if, if the, the self-proclaimed number one quarterback in the 2023 class can respond. He had a response, he got a response from Nico. Let's see if Keon Jenkins can go down and get another one. Hey, DG, I'm gonna go down to the field. I need to, I need to get a good oh, look you, at you him. You gotta get a close up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got him, he's got him. The back Ooh. shoulder. Is he in? Ooh. DG, you think he's in? Oh, he in. That's a that's a nice bat. That's a nice throw. Hey Tom, what's going on down there? All right, we got Nico. You guys are battling out. I, it's great. 12-0, awesome. But tell me about the pants. Uh, pretty much having one night, man. Uh, one of the battle tournaments. I had my sweats. I ain't have nothing else to wear, so I, my dad told me, you know. Where would I had on? I had the PJs on. You guys can rock a pair, sir. Uh, you gonna hook me up with a pair? I got you. I'll bring one too. I'll bring one too. I got you. How many pairs you own? Probably on like 20 now, 25. I, I gotta ask you. They call you the eight million dollar man. Is that why you're wearing number eight? That ain't me, man. That ain't, uh, that ain't me, man. <laughs> hey, Tom, I'm glad you got to ask him about that because I've been dying to know too. I mean, can I get a dollar? I'm out here eating like 30 cent pizza. No one breaks the ice like overtime, Tom. Just saw a touchdown from Keon Jenkins. And a nice response, right? Quick down the field, two plays. Got in the end zone. Now they're going for two here to try to expand this lead. It stays deadlocked at 12. This is a game, guys. I mean, we, we got a game here. Who knew? Hey, DG, I don't know about you, but something about a lefty quarterback rolling out to his right, a little weird, a little weird. And that ball got through there, though, right? That, get, that ball has to be caught. You got the receiver blaming someone else. It's like your hands touched that ball. What are we doing? Who are we blaming? Marcus, what is that? Tom in the in the balls or, or or the squares, the celebration pit. Are you looking for something? Tom will find any reason he can to go in the pit. What is it? I love how you're protecting the pizza though. Got to protect the pizza. Wow! Wow! And the pi. 
offensive pass interference. Wow. I thought it was DG. I thought it was. I thought it was defensive PI. What do you think? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, but. Ethan O'Connor, that's a great catch. I don't care. It was a what, great catch. I don't care what the referee called. I don't see what he saw, but that's a heck of a catch, and it's probably still going on the overtime uh, Instagram. I'm just telling you. Unbelievable throw. I don't know if you saw there, but that was his third read. Yeah, he, he went all the way from the yep, right side yep. of the field to the middle and then to the outside, and the fact that he has the arm strength to get that ball up and down on the outside was an outstanding throw. I mean, you could just see his eyes the whole time. That was a that, hey, that might have been his fourth option. Yeah, that was a phantom pass interference call there. The deep shot, he's got him. Ah. Too much sauce. Damn. You see the arm strength though, he threw it out of the stadium. With ease, <laughs> with ease. Look at him, he's like, man, I threw that thing way too far. The one thing when I was down there with this tour team, everybody takes respect, as we got our guy Tom still in the pit eating on his pizza. They all take responsibility, right? So there's no guys pointing fingers, blaming others. They do a great job of taking responsibility and being accountable for each other's actions. And it's a kind of a joy to see from, from high school kids. Hey, hey, Tom, how'd you get that pizza? No? Too busy eating? Oh, big third down, they're bringing the blitz. Turnover. That's a, that's a big two points. Big two points for Team DEFCON. And that is their one blitz right there. Hey, I think that was a great time to use it. Yeah, I mean, we've seen that these teams do a great job of saving that blitz and knowing when to use it. And you can see he evaded them once, but you, you, only, you can't evade them twice, right? Not enough space, nobody to throw the ball to. Great job, eat it, take the two points rather than throwing a three-point interception. With how these QBs have been going back and forth, hey, that's a big stop by DEFCON, honestly. Huge, huge. I just, yeah, I just been taking all day. Run. Wow, wow, what a throw, what a catch. Hey, I can't see down there, who is that? Keon Jenkins has come to play. I, that is I saw him earlier and I didn't see this, right? They are allowing him to drop back and really dissect this defense and that is a dime in between the corner and safety, drop perfectly. The receiver barely has to move his hands, wow. Yo, what a catch by Dwayne there. I mean, he spoke it, man. He said, I'm the number one quarterback in the 2020 class, and he's out here trying to prove it here at OT7. Rolling left. Oh, too easy. Too easy. How you doing? How you doing, man? Hey, there hasn't been as much talk about Keon as other quarterbacks in this tournament. Keon showed me a lot, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, in the earlier games, they had him on a sprint out on almost every play, and I was really confused. Like, it looks like this young man has a nice arm. Let him drop back in the pocket, and you see what happens, right? They're allowing him to drop back in this game, and he hasn't missed yet. They do move the pocket quite a bit, but I agree with you, DJ. I love it when, he's, when he stands in there and just delivers it, because he's got a great arm and throws a great ball. And, and in just the voice, like that. In the voice of DJ Khaled, another one. Another one. Hey, that catch on the point after, Ortega, he's class of 2026. Young Buck. Young Buck, 2026. He already has an offer from FIU, too. Nice grab, right? Gets punched in the face, mm -hmm. right? Nice hands catch. That's what you want to see from a young young receiver running back. Go reach out and catch that ball with your hands. He does a great job of doing it there. Let's see if Nico can respond. My bad, brother. Oh, Cassius for three. Cassius, Cassius working on his third tutty of the game here. Hey, DG, if Cassius scores another one, I'm going in the pit with him. That I mean, cool with you? I think you have to. I think point. I have to, right? I, but you got to love the touch, right? How about the touch from Nico? Just dropping that ball, giving him a chance to adjust, and now you can see Cassius getting up the sideline. Might have been a touchdown, but they didn't give it to him. Hey, Alex, I, I feel like whoever scores, you should get in the pit, right? I, I think you're right. I think you're right. You got a back foot for us or what? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, everybody else is doing it. I yeah, mean. right. Yeah, right. 
You're trying to be a one-man booth, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's trying to kick no, me out of the booth. Remember, you said I was an old man, <laughs> right? You got those young knees. <laughs> Go ahead. Get a backflip, baby. Hey, I, I've been in the pit maybe six or seven times. I think by the end of this weekend, my back is going to be gone. Gone. <laughs> gone. Gone. Where's my I love how the communication is so minimal, but everybody knows what to do, right? We don't hear too many words or football terms, but everybody knows where to go because now they got themselves. Ooh, that was close. Oh, we got some talking here. We got some talking. Gotta love the intensity. Not, nothing wrong with that. Patterson and Davis kind of getting after a little bit there. Let's see. Oh, that's fast interference. Ball may be uncatchable, though. Two for two. Oh. So those two guys, those two guys are going to actually have to sit out of play. A little too much trash talking, you have to sit out of play. Just, just a little slap on the wrist, nothing too bad. All right, we got second and goal here. Nico dropping back. Looks right, looks left. Cassius, there number you go. three. Oh, there yeah. no pit, no pit. I got bailed out. I mean, you can still go if you want. Should I still go? You can, you can still go. Oh, I'm going. We'll get a camera. Let's we go. Get you. Let's We're go. going in the pit. I'm going. Let's Overtime, go. Alex, Let's go. in the Let's pit go. for a touchdown. <laughs> It's a great job once again, changing the arm angle. That's something that you get from Nico. He has a he has a real skill of changing his arm angle when he needs to to get the ball to his receivers. Right there, you can see coming right over the middle. He drops the arm angle a little bit and gets it in there. Wow. So they go for two, but that only gives them 20, and so they're still down by one, and it's 118 to go, and the clock is ticking. They better make sure they bring that tee back because DEFCON is not going to be in any rush to grab the tee and bring it back. All right, this is, this is where you show how talented of a quarterback you are and how smart you can be. Can Keon Jenkins salt this game away, right? 55 seconds, you don't need anything. You don't want to put the ball in harm's way, but you don't want to turn the ball over and give them a chance. Looks like they took the two points away. Blitz is coming for sure. You can see a little gains and shit from DEFCON. They know the clock is running, so they are in no rush to snap the ball here. Very good job by the coaching staff and, and Jenkins, making sure that they know the situation and get out of here with the win. That'll do it, guys. They, they essentially do not have to run a play here, but they may try to get a play in and try to add an insult to injury. Looks like they're gonna shake it up. That's a very well fought game. All right, that's the end. You got DEFCON 21, Team TOA 18 in a barn burner. If you love this content, though, make sure you like and subscribe and also comment. We got more games coming your way tomorrow, so make sure you come back. For Alex and Tom, I'm Devin Gardner. Catch you all next time. Peace. It feels like a thousand degrees outside right now in Las Vegas, but it's only because we are here at OT7. We got 18 elite teams from across the country who are competing for a championship and the right to be crowned the best seven on seven team in the country. This is a one of a kind seven on seven league and it's gonna be a certified movie. And tonight we've got a great matchup between the Devoted Dreamers and 24K. I'm your host, former Michigan quarterback Devin Gardner, and I'm here with Overtime Day. What's up, baby? DG, great to see you. Hey, this guy just won an Emmy right before we got on here. Big congrats to him. Huge congrats. And we get to celebrate with a great game here in Vegas. First game, 
I want to talk to you guys about 24K. Now, 24K has an unbelievable offense. We're one of the highest scoring teams in this tournament so far. But I want to talk about the defense. This defense is locked down. Unbelievable secondary. They've got two four stars in the class of 2024. Jaden Coleman, Jordan Pride. These guys are locked down, but most importantly, they have Charles Lester, the number two DB in the class of 2024. He's tall, long arms, he's a dog. He'll play press coverage, he'll lock you up, he'll play off, he'll pick you, he'll pick you off. He's a beast, and they have a great secondary to go along with a great offense. Now, that's all well and good, but on the other side, even though the devoted dreamers are 0-4, DeMario Davis leads this team, and they are not going to go quietly. Nope. And more importantly than just football, they've had 48 people come to their program, 48 have gone to college. They have 40 on scholarship, and 21 are D1. I'm just telling you, they are going to come to play. DeMario Davis got those boys ready. But we got one more member of our broadcast. Talk to me. And it is... Overtime Tom. So overtime Tom, what you got? Fellas, what is up? I love it here. I love OT7. We got great players. We got great football. My favorite thing, though, it's this foam pit right here. I've been living in it all weekend. 24K, they're the highest scoring team in OT7. So I think we're going to live in here this whole entire game. I got the cape on. DG, can I get in here one time before the game? Hey, hit him, DG. Come on now. Let's go. Woo! Get in there. The booth, get in there. Let's get in. <laughs> Let's play ball. Let's go. Let's play ball. Come on. Let's go. And now it's time to go. Devoted Dreamers, 24K, OT7. Let's go. Let's ride. Let's ride. 24K has the ball first. They've been one of the highest scoring teams here. Actually, excuse me, the highest scoring team here. I'm pumped to see them right now. Here we go. Deep shot right off the bat. He's got a step. Hell of a play by the safety coming over there, DG. Yeah, absolutely. So I went over and talked to Demario Davis, and he was talking to the defense, making sure that they're in place and know where they need to be. That's a cover two corner, I mean, a cover two safety running over the top, and though that ball looks like it's going to be completed, he gets there just in time to get the ball out, and that's what a safety does. It was really a perfect pass, honestly. There absolutely. Was, there, there was not much of a window. He dropped it in, dropped it in. That was a dime. Second down here from the 40. Hey, and that's a good job of taking what's underneath there. Yeah, you can see, like, a lot of these teams, they come out and they want to go deep, right? They want to test the waters first. You just hope you don't throw an interception, right? And then you get another chance. And so now they make up a third down in, in about 10 yards, five yards. Hey, and that's a good job by quarterback Dylan Risk. Set, that's the second time in a row here. He's just taking what's underneath. That's now, that's a pure progression, right? When you go from one side of the field and you work your eyes. Very good job of him starting to the right, working, 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 and then finding the shallow cross, coming across, just enough yards to get the first down. So Dylan's a three-star, class of 2023. He's going to UCF, so, you know, he's got big things on the horizon, but nothing is bigger than OT7 right now. Yeah, you think he doesn't have something to prove, right? He yeah. wants to come and prove that he should be up there with the Nikos and Dante Moores and Malachi Nelson. I love the nice little half roll, right? Kind of get a better view of the throw and make the throw on the run. Ball placement, right? We've seen such good ball placement with all the good quarterback play here this week, and, and that is another example. Put the ball right in front of the receiver so he can continue to run. Second down here, rolling out to the right. Oh, he's got his man open. Easy. Too easy. easy. Six. Nothing. That is Farmer with the touchdown hey. and the Selly with <laughs> overtime Tom. Hey Tom, what are the vibes down there? Bro, I've been dying for some basketball this weekend. It's so hot here. I want to live in a gym. Finally got my first East Bay. Let's get it. Easy throw, right? Roll right. You got a layer flood kind of concept where you flood the boundary. Yeah, next, Very good team. job of getting that ball in. Devoted Dreamers got to find a way to slow down these these 24 karat offense <laughs> on those rollouts. Here's another one. Incomplete, it'll be six nothing. Hey, that was a nice touchdown by Farmer. So Farmer, real quick, as uh, as the Dreamers get ready here on offense. Farmer's a class of 2024 four star. He's sitting on a bunch of big offers right now. Penn State, Arizona State, Georgia Tech. I think we'll see a lot more of him today. All right, devoted Dreamers getting set up here on offense. Yeah, They've gotten off to a tough start, go, but I, I think they're about to have a big day here. 
last team guy shot you right off the bat. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy. That is uh that is an incompletion. Should have been picked off by the aforementioned Charles Lester. We talked about him in the intro. Yeah. The number two DB in the class of 2024. Man, he's not gonna sleep tonight after that one. Man, Picarella, he has to make sure he yeah, doesn't no, throw in the double head. coverage, especially he with that guy back head. there. Throwing in the double coverage is not gonna be conducive to success this afternoon. And that is caught for, I believe, a per no, they're saying four seconds. Yep. That will be a penalty. We got third down here. Hey, sack. 98, going back to the first play yep. of, of this drive here. It is crazy windy out here. Yeah, that's the thing. The ball is going to hang up, and, and I've talked about it a lot, spirals, right? Mm -hmm. You have to throw a perfect, because if you don't throw a perfect spiral, that's a chance for the wind to pick it up just at the right time, and usually it picks it up and goes to the other team. It, it usually doesn't work in your favor. We might. It's so windy out here, we might see some ducks today. I'm not saying that was, but I'm not saying it wasn't either. And we got a false start on the That'd offense. A, that's a loss of down. That'd be a turnover. Down. All right, with that turnover, let's go check in with Tom. What you got for us, Tom? What's up, Tom? I got the man of the hour. I got Day Day Farmer here. He just scored the first touchdown. That was great. He dunked everything. But the more important question, what'd you eat today? <laughs> Some candy. <laughs> what's your favorite candy? Uh, sour Patch. All right, you guys about to get a win here? We got to get him back in the game. We got to get him back in the game. He's the best receiver here. Hey, we got, got a little Marshawn Lynch down there right eating some, some candy before the game, getting ready. And, and, and overtime time, you can't keep him away from getting these touchdowns. That probably would have been him that caught that. Tom's gonna have to give a little fine to the, the kangaroo court for keeping uh, keeping 24K's best guys off the gotta, field. We gotta find him with, with push-ups. Ab absolutely. Tom, you got 40 push-ups, man. Hey, hey, Tom, count wait, him up, baby. Wait, 40 push-up fine for what? because you held that guy out of the out of the game, <laughs> hey. and that ball was probably supposed to go to him, and now they're at second down in 10, in 15. I'm trying to keep the game close, okay? <laughs> we'll apologize to Day Day Farmer on your behalf. All right, we got second down here from the 40. 24K sitting on an 8-0 lead right now. Drops back. He's got his man. He's got some room. What? And he is brought, sorry, excuse me, touchdown yeah. at, the, uh, at, the, at, at the 20. Hey, Relax hey, over Sunday. We can't tackle here, Yo, even though we've I'm, seen some hard hits. Hey, it's June, but I'm ready. I'm ready also for some, for some NFL college football. Yeah, that's a good job. Once again, going through your progressions and getting to the open guy. A lot of times when you play progression offense, if you follow the plan, you'll always get to an open guy because every play has answers no matter what the coverage is. He's doing a very good job right now. And that was a nice run after the catch there by, by Baptiste, the uh, the 2023 wide receiver. And we have another touchdown. Bryson Rogers. And 24K has jumped out to a 14-0 lead and to the pit we go. Yep, to the pit we go. Tom, you're not in the pit. What's going on? What Listen, are you doing? Do you Tom? see how fast they were running? They were gonna take my head off if I jumped in there with them. I'm not trying to get hurt. They got cleats on. I got next though. I got next. You got next. Hey, yep. on day one of OT7, I did that, and I, I, I'm still recovering. Actually, I'm not doing great from he that. Immediately regretted it. Immediately right. regretted it. Yeah. 24K going for the point after here. Jump ball incomplete. You know, those fade routes, you usually can't throw them late, right? You, you mm -hmm. usually got to go to them right away. Tries to go to it late there and, and steal one. Didn't work out. Very good job by the Devoters, dream, Devoted Dreamers uh, stopping that. That's a good job by the defender, right? Keeping his levers, not falling asleep, and then playing the ball up top. Hey, I know it's early 98. Devoted Dreamers need to score here. I mean, they need to score. Seen, they need to score badly right now. We've seen games get away from teams, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the scenario that it always is in. You you get a score, and then you don't score, and then the other team scores, and now you're down by two scores. So they didn't need to make sure they get down the field. But remember, you don't have to get it all back in one play, right? You you take what the defense gives you. Still, there's still plenty of time left on the clock with 12 minutes, and, and they can really come back in this game. But they have to be precise, and they have to get a score on this drive. Absolutely. Now we have Henry, aka Reed Miller, in at QB. Let's see what he can cook up for them. That is, hey, was that broken up or was that? That dropped? was a very nice defensive play. Yeah. Very You're, nice defensive play. Tight window. 
That ball is in the hands of the receiver, but the DB doesn't give up on the play, right? That's a sign of a very good DB. You cannot give up on the play. Just because it's caught doesn't mean it's caught, if that makes sense at all. Oh, absolutely. Just because it's caught doesn't mean it's caught. He goes and gets his hand in there and gets that ball out, but here's another third down for the Devoted Dreamers. Miller rolls out. And he, and he is touched for the sack. It's, we have a turnover it's the on towel. downs. His towel was fluttering in the wind. Oh, no. Hey, it's about, I don't know, 195 degrees out here. You need the towel to keep it's your hands towel. dry. <laughs> the towel has betrayed him. The towel has betrayed him. The defender lays everything on the line because at this point, take a look at this. Love the camera angle. Oh, oh, just by the cotton on the towel. Hey, that reminds me of those old uh, those old plays with Troy Palomalu and they, they bring him down by his hair. Yeah. You got, hey, you got to keep everything, keep all arms and legs inside the vehicle. Hey, that's why uniforms have gotten smaller and smaller and smaller. You don't want anything to grab onto. Oh, I love the spin of the ball there as he drops back. Man, that's a tough break for the Boulder Dreamers, right? They had a completion, but the defense of the 24K uh, they get the ball out, and then on that last play, they use their blitz, timely blitz. Everybody at home has to remember that you only get one blitz during the game, and that's a perfect time to use it by 24K because now you can go up three scores and maybe put this game out of reach. Hey, if you're up 16 right now, a touchdown here, you're sitting awfully pretty. Nice timing. Nice oh timing. Goodness. And that's a nice catch there by, uh, by Patterson. Hey, we were talking about it before. But that throw, you know, on a windy day like this, on the comeback, the deep comeback route across the field, that's an impressive throw. Yeah, the only thing about it, the receiver didn't take the route deep enough, and so now they're they're here with a third down and short, which they should be able to get. Roll out. Oh, that's a nice play call. That's a nice play call. Touch down. Bryson Rogers. Mama come get me. Another one. We are at 20. What is that? 22 nothing. Excuse me, math is a little hard. 22 nothing, 24K. The design of this play was so cool. They had the bunch, and usually when you sprint out, the routes go out. But they sprint out and bring a route in. The defenders were lost. The ball is perfect, and then you get the slam. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Let the boys be boys. <laughs> a little 24 karat magic. That's a beautiful play call. That's the, that's the play call we always see the Kansas City Chiefs run in the red zone. He usually flips it under to, 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 to Kelsey. Yep. To Kelsey, the roll right, and then the the pitcher short toss left. They're going for the extra point here from the 10. This will be this will be two points if they complete this. Drops back. We got a fade to the left. Incomplete. 22 nothing. 24K. Devoted Dreamers need an answer right now. Man, and you know, in, in college football games and NFL football games, you usually get a, a commercial, a little bit of time to regroup. Guess what? Overtime day. You do not get that time. You are back on offense if you're the Devoted Dreamers, and you got to score fast. Right back at it. Tom, what's going on down there? How you doing? Cool. I'm ready when you, if, if you guys want one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right now, Tom. What's going on? Hey. My man just scored a touchdown. We, we got a little bit of a blowout right here. You guys are playing really well. We got playoffs coming up tomorrow, though. Who do you guys want to play against? Like, who's the team to beat? Uh, I feel like for us, Southwood Express, with a lot of great talent and a lot of uh, great at athletes they have on their team, I feel like that would be a great matchup for us. Uh, going into that game, I feel confident, so that's why I want Southwood Express. But you're winning it all, right? Yes, sir. Right, Absolutely. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. I need a win. Here we go. See, you know, he's been busy, right? Because if he would have known, Southport Express has not been performing to the level that 24K has. There's a lot of other teams that they probably want to see. But these teams are busy doing? when the other teams are playing. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, I'm scared of SFE. But even though they, they've been up and down, we also saw them have a blowout yesterday, too. Yep. I was at 31 nothing. But we saw him get blown out. Yeah. <laughs> right? hey, sorry, excuse me, 33 nothing. Yeah. Oh, incomplete. Hey, go, going back to two plays ago, that was a completion of Braylon Burnside. He's a four star, class of 2024. He's a stud. I want to see them go back to them more, but hey, we got a turnover right here. Hey, what's up, Lester? Hey, Charles, I think Charles Lester is asking for some uh, some offensive reps here. Listen, uh, offensive coordinator said he's going to call the plays from the booth, and he's up here with us right now. Uh, he said if this becomes a blowout, he's going to call the plays from the booth, and he is up here as we speak calling the plays. Hey. I mean, this is, this is getting disrespectful. Hey, hey, Tom, 
Tom, come over here and talk to Charles Lester. I want you to ask him if he's going to sleep tonight after that drop pick from before. Okay. My man, you dropped the pick today? Is that, is that true? Hell yeah. You going to get it back? Hell yeah. Oh, you're good. How, how's the squad playing? Huh? How's the squad playing? Good. Hey, I'm good doing, Chief. Who's the best player on this team right now? Me. You? Yeah. Where are we going to school? Sheesh. Roll tight. Roll tight. Committed. That's good. All right, all right. Hey, I, I had a I, think I just got a commitment. Yeah, I, I think so. Is overtime breaking news now? I just broke a commitment. Hey, I love this job. I, I had a fun conversation with Charles Lester yesterday. He was telling me how his mom passed away in 2018. Everything he does is for her. And, you know, I got to say, after talking to him, he's one of my favorite players here. He was he was spitting bars of his brother, who's a rapper, and, and, and he, everything he said had me cracking up. I mean, he's, he's an interesting guy, good sense of humor, and that's another touchdown for 24K. I mean, a lot of people might think of what, the way he's talking as, as arrogance, right? But he has a why, right? Like you said, his mom died and his gave him something to play for, and that's what you can see he's doing out here as 24K scores yet another touchdown. That is another touchdown for Tyree Patterson. Hey, I want, I'm a Giants fan, so I'm tempted to call him David Tyree Patterson. <laughs> that's another one for the three-star in the class of 2023. He's going to Florida. I mean, enough got, said. And he has bounce. Did bounce. You see bounce. Did you see that dunk? Bounce. Bounce. Two-hand, right? So I always talk about, like, if you can dunk with one, I don't count you as a dunker. But when you can cock that thing back and go with two, that's a dunk. You don't count me as a dunker? Nope. Damn. The jump ball. Oh! He and got must. No, he got oh, dunked no, on. Oh, there's an incomplete. Oh, he was out of bounds, and he's still going to go Will Mill. Man, I he, thought he had the all oh man 24k is is dancing on their graves literally. Let's literally. see, is he out of bounds? He goes up for the he goes dunk. Goes up. Ooh, oh, hey, out left of, foot, left foot, left foot hit first. first. Yeah, yeah. Out of bounds on the line. But guess what? We'll still take this with the Vince Carter windmill. Mmm, honey dip, honey dip. <laughs> we'll take that one in, dunk as a dunk. Taking a shot here. Nice toss. Let's see if these devoted dreamers can get something going. That's a nice start, right? Getting the ball through the middle. Nice confidence builder, right? Get a nice deep throw. Maybe you can get an end zone this next play so that you can give yourself an opportunity with four minutes and 20 seconds left. Yup, that was completed to Nick Thompson, three-star in the class of 2023. Drops back, looks left, looks right, into the end zone, picked off. No! Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, as well as 24K is playing, their defense. They're leaving some out there. Their, their defense is They're leaving, leaving some, some out, out here. There. And you know what's funny? We're saying that, and they've got a goose egg up on the board. Yep, that's true. But, but they would have six more points if they catch some interceptions. So do I get credit for talking about their secondary in the intro when they're pitching a shutout? I think or, or do I get shamed because they've dropped like three picks? Ah, that's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. But like you said, they're still pitching a shutout. And the, fa the fact that they're in position to make the plays, that's good. We know DBs play DB for a reason, right? They just aren't the best catchers in the world. And that's another catch by Jeremy Scott. I wanted to see more of him all day today. He's a three-star in the class of 2024. He's a stud. I want to see more of him. We haven't seen San, Fran San Francisco McGee get a chance, right? And I talked to Mario Davis. He said he is a stud. He, he said he thinks he's the best receiver in this tournament. We just haven't seen him get a chance. Is that in? Is that They're saying incomplete. By the way, San Francisco McGee has to be the name of the whole tournament. The name. I mean, it's a pretty nice name. Refs are talking here. DG, what do you think? Did he have possession in the end zone? Hey, Tom, can you do a little investigative journalism here? What do we think? He was still trying to throw. Uh, I understand. <laughs> the referee, the referee telling, hey, Tom, be knows here. The employee referees of overtime are telling overtime Tom to get away. We're not, we're not putting this on TV. Wait, yes, we are. Yes. This is overtime. And this we is see, an overtime network. We, we see the replay. Can, can you explain to me what happened? Hey, we see the replay. Oh, it's coming together. Yeah, yeah. I, I can be involved next time. I'm, a, I'm good. Give me a t-shirt. I got you. boy, Tom. They want nothing to do with me. They hate me. Hey, Tom, Tom, Tom make, make your presence felt, Tom. You just got to be aggressive. Felt. You just got to be aggressive. <laughs> ah. Touchdown. Nope, down. Excuse me. We're, see, we're in the back of uh, we're in the back of the field here. Should have been looking at the monitor depth perception. Yeesh. 
That's what I'm saying. Jeremy Scott, though, I want to see more of him. Three-star, class of 2024. I'm looking for him right here on third down. Yeah, so last opportunity to try to get in the end zone. It's for pride. It's for pride. This is, I mean, it's, he's right there. Touchdown. Nice job. Nice job. Devoted Dreamers get on the board. Ah! Oh, and they're going to the pit. Tom, get in there, big dog. Hey, boys. Hey, that. Hey, look at Tom. Let's look just at watch Tom. him try to get out. Look at Tom. Leave the camera there. Let's just watch him try to get out. Hey, hey, I think to, Tom jumped in a while ago. I haven't seen his face yet. Oh, my goodness. Tom, can you give us a thumbs up? Or so? There he is. All right, there good, he good, is. good. There he is. It's a good job, right? Getting through your reads, running back, shake up the linebacker, get in the end zone, and uh, get a celebration, right? I know you're down by a bunch. Still, go use that pit. Let's right? go. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. I like the little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage, too. You got to shake it. And then you what? Then you bake it. Yes, indeed. Open touchdown. Nice. Oh, excuse me. Extra point. Extra point. Extra point. Excuse me. Okay, score. 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 31 7, 24K, getting the ball back here. Is Tom still in the pit? Tom is in the pit. Tom, how, Tom how was it? Jeez, Tom. How are we doing? He is struggling to get out this pit. I got my guy right here. You guys, you guys about to play? Uh, yeah, we got a half an hour. What do you think about 24 k They legit. They legit? Yeah, they're going to be you guys? Uh, 12 karat <laughs> after we face them again. Oh. You, guys the, you got the rings on today? Tom, that's above and beyond reporting right there. He's my best friend. He's basically my dad at this point. I think I can hang with him. <laughs> Just over a minute left as 24K looks to tack on. Looks right, looks left. I believe that's four seconds. Yeah, that's going to be a sack. You know, you can almost assume there's going to be a sack when you look for a long time to the mm -hmm. right, look back to the left, then back to the right. That's a little bit too much time. Nope, nope. Got to make up your mind earlier. Nice job by the Devoted Dreamers kind of buckling down here, right, and forcing this third down for 24K. Hey, I'm just worried that we're going to get blown out of this booth here. This is Man. this is crazy win. I mean, this is not a quarterback's dream, I can tell you that. Right? As a quarterback, you do not want to play in this because the second you don't throw a perfect spiral, that ball could go anywhere and you have no control. You not have the arm for it? Uh -oh, oh, my whoa. goodness. Whoa, hey, yo. Whoa. Nice job by the Devoted nice, Dreamers. That nice blitz nice. there by the Dreamers. <laughs> they were smart. They brought two. They said, you know what? We're not letting you get out of there. They brought all the dogs. We got 31-9. Clock is ticking. We're approaching the 10 second mark. Devoted Dreamers just got to take a shot here. If he doesn't go down, he might even have a chance, but he had a third guy coming as well. Drop back, looking right, taking the shot downfield. Incomplete, and that will do it. 31 to 9, 24K, your winners. I mean, if you dig this content, make sure you like it, subscribe, and comment. We got more games coming your way, so don't you move. Don't go anywhere. For Alex and Tom, I'm Devin Gardner. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace. Las Vegas is where it's at now for the country's most elite seven on seven teams. As we kick off OT7's inaugural season, these star studded teams will be battling it out to get their hands on the trophy. But it won't be easy because there are a ton of heavy hitters to get through. And tonight, we got a couple of them. The Trillium Boys are back for more as they take on the Carolina Stars. I'm your host, former Michigan quarterback, Devin Gardner, and this is my boy, Overtime Day. I, oh, wait, oh, no, hey, no, hey, no, hey, hey, what's up, Big 98? How are we doing? Yeah. Hey, I'm pumped for this one today. Trillium Boys are led by TikTok, YouTube, everything superstar, AJ Green. Now, Trillion Boys got off to a rough start, but since AJ Green has been back, they have looked good. Coincidence? You tell me, I don't know. But they're two and two right now, and what I want to talk to you guys about is the Tennessee connection. They've got three Tennessee commits. They are all going to their four stars, their dogs. So if you're an SEC fan, and if you're a Volunteers fan, know the names. Trey Wisner, running back, he's a four star. Jack Luttrell and, uh, and, and Ethan Davis. Here we go. Well, you know, on the other side is the Carolina Stars, led by former Duke University quarterback Anthony Boone. And with more on that team, we got the third member of our broadcast, Overtime Tom. What you got for us, Tom? What's, What's up, going Thomas? on, guys? Look, you just talked about A.J. Green. Fun fact, I actually beat him in a race once. Low-key, don't tell him. It's all good. Carolina Stars, 2-0-1. They're, they're maybe the best team here. And the reason why I know that they're going to win this game, right? Ooh. 
little secret. They did more backflips when they got introduced than the Chillionaires, all right? So I got the Carolina Stars, led by Jaden Davis, maybe the best quarterback in the freaking world. Reminds me a lot of me. Let's get it, Carolina Stars. I got them winning big time, okay? Don't tell anyone. I got them winning. Uh, hey, well, I'm, you know, we won't tell anybody else, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm cracking up that he called them the Trillionaires. The Trillionaires. The Trillionaires. <laughs> Hey, the, the, you're, you're absolutely right on, on Jaden Davis, though. I don't know about the world, but he's a very, very talented quarterback. 2024, so he's not quite a senior yet, but he's coming and he's playing with the big boys and showing that he belongs. I'm stoked to see him. Yeah. Stoked to see him. This is going to be a fun matchup. Now, of course, A.J. Green brings a lot of, uh, you know, attention to Trillion Boys, but on day two of pool play, they won in one of the more electric finishes we've seen at OT7. Yeah. A walk-off win at the end of the game. They all won in the mosh pit. I may or may not have jumped in there with them. We didn't do it just a service. Tell them how it happened. He grabbed the ball off of the defender's butt while the defender was, because we always talk about defender needs to be in between the ball and the receiver. Well, it doesn't matter apparently when the true are making plays. On his head, on his head. It was an unbelievable play, an unbelievable finish. And if we get a finish like that today, get your popcorn ready. Yeah. Unless if you have braces. Because I had braces when I was a kid. And if you eat that popcorn, it's going to get stuck. I had braces as a kid, and I still ate popcorn That's as a kid. That's right, because you overtime day. And I'd like to apologize to absolutely nobody. Absolutely nobody. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to do that with the Conor McGregor Irish accent, too. You got, wait, you got that in your bag? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll hold the L on that one. All that right, was, that right, was right. rough. It's that was good. rough. I hear them laughing in the truck at about that nobody. one. That was bad. Nobody. <laughs> nobody? I don't know. <laughs> So, Trillion Boy is getting the ball first. Now, Israel Carter is your star quarterback, but we're not seeing him off the bat. We're seeing Jack Stupin. He's a three-star in the class of 2024. You hear the horn. That means it's time to go. Let's rock and roll. Jack Stupin, the show's yours. All right, here we go, here we go. Stupin drops back, looks right, couple pump fakes, looks left, looks That's back right, and there's a flag. That's gonna be a sack. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the longer four second counts I've ever seen. Yeah, I was gonna say, that he was working on 11 or 12 seconds, and he's still complaining. Yeah. That's a great start, right? Great start by those Carolina Stars on defense to make sure that there's absolutely nowhere to go. The one thing is, he looked for the deep shot. They took that away, but he had some underneath routes that if he would have got to those, he would have had a quick completion. We've been talking throughout this whole weekend here that when QBs go through the progressions with four seconds, you really can only go scan across the field once or else it's going to be four seconds. As we have another flag on the play. Third down coming up here. Well, that's another sack, and you can see the wide receivers are coming up to the quarterback saying, hey, listen, if it's not there, check it down, right? He had a receiver in front of him for a very long time, didn't want to get it out. The thing is, with 7 on 7, these guys are so explosive. If you get the ball to him quickly, he can take it and he can run for it. Listen, listen. Grant, Cam, Jante, Ethan, Aaron. There was, a, there was a series of names rattled off there in the huddle. I don't know if those are the names of the plays. It seems like the names of the kids. We'll o see. Omaha, Omaha. Got to get 15 yards. Stupin drops back and delivers the strike. First Very down. Nice. Very nice. That's Jonte Cook. And that's a first down. Hey, Stupin needed that. That was a nice sail concept, right? You got an out route coming out, but a sail or a deep post took the defense away. And so now you have them wide open for a first down. Hey, get used to seeing that face, that name, that number, Jonte Cook. Class of 2023, he's a four-star, eighth overall wide receiver in his class. And we saw on second down, he went up to Stupid and said, hey, give me the ball. That's got to be another sack, Yeah, that's right? another sack, and there's the flag. Right? There's the flag, yeah, yeah, second down. A, I'm sitting here trying to, I'm not actually counting, but it just feels long, right? It just feels like it's taking way too long to get this ball out. Yeah, big D. Big, big DG 98 One over here looks Two like a uh, look, looks like a, a wreck basketball. I mean that's out. I mean that that's <laughs> it's gotta get this ball out faster. Yeah, you're, you're starting to do the the arm out yeah, like a like yeah. a like a like a basketball ref and counting the, the four is, seconds. You, 
you have to know, he hasn't played a whole bunch in the tournament. And so a 2024, not a senior, so maybe he's just processing a little bit slower than Israel Carter was yesterday. Stupin drops back. He wants a deep shot here. No one home. Miscommunication. We got third down coming up here. So Stupin is a three-star, class of 2024. Look, Israel Carter obviously gets more buzz. Stupin can carry the load. He's He is a, a bona fide great quarterback and 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 I'm pumped to see him and so far in this opening drive whether we see him more or just this drive I'm pumped that we're getting a look at him hey Tom you're on the sideline of trillion trillion boys I almost said trillion like, what's the feeling like what's going on down there yo it's it's kind of sad down here they're pretty, yeah. they're not doing too well right, right now AJ Green looks nervous can they get can they score a touchdown here though all right, that was nice, but it's very quiet down here. I'm a little surprised. And there we go, Jonte Cook again. Hey, when in doubt, let Cook cook. So basically, the plan is take a sack, take a sack, throw to Cook. First down. Hey, hey, that. Take a sack, take a sack, throw to Cook. First down. There it is, right here. A, B, and C. Nice grab up away from his body. That's what you want to see at the next level, right? Reaching with your hands and going and snagging that ball, not using your body. Very good job by Cook there. Man, even in pregame, you were giving you were giving overtime Tom some uh, some 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 crap about catching it with his chest, Gotta not his hands. Man. Stupid looks right, throws across the middle, touchdown. Trillion boys, touchdown. Trey Wisner, Tennessee commit, six nothing trillion boys. As unpromising as this drive looked in the beginning, right? Sack, sack, first down, sack, terrible overthrow, first down, and then touchdown, right? So no matter how you get there, just go get in the end zone. Trillion Boys does a great job there. Great catch once again with your hands away from your body. Very impressive. Good coaches always say, sorry, coaches always say about their teams, we know we're going good if we're winning ugly. And that wasn't a pretty drive at all. But when push comes to shove, they're up six here. My coach, Doug Nussmeyer, quarterback coach of the Dallas Cowboys, used to tell me, we will never apologize for winning, and you shouldn't ever apologize for touchdowns. Hey, KJ, did they take that uh, did They take that touchdown off the board? Uh, they may be saying that they touched them prematurely. Wow. Wow. That escalated quickly. That did escalate quickly. Well, you should apologize for not getting the end zone. Yeah, I, I, I didn't <laughs> think there was a doubt. We're over here back behind the field. Tom, right. Tom, what do you think about that call there? Was that the right call? There we Touchdown, go. there we go. There we go. There we go. See, they had to stay with the, the plan. And that was a touchdown by Eric Dunham. And now, the Trillion Boys, AKA the Trillionaires, as overtime Tom would say, are up 6 0. Hey, you know what's so crazy? It got even uglier, right? But they still ended it with a touchdown. Winning ugly. Winning ugly. Nice catch. Nice hands catch. If he tries to catch that with his body, that's not going to be a complete. He does a great job and pulls it away from the DB immediately so the DB can get that late hand in and try to get the ball out. Hey, we have about 30 guys behind the line of scrimmage. Is, uh, yeah, we we got to, what's we going on with that? Guys. There's we, too many we people on the we, field. We can't even see the field. Too many people on the field. And that is Eric Denham with the point after. He's a three-star in the class of 2023. The one point, seven nothing trillion boys as the Carolina Stars look to bounce back on offense. All right, now that was a that was a long drive, right? Long that was drive. A, that drive was an odyssey in itself, and it's and you would think like, oh, maybe we've already seen the Carolina Stars. Nope, this is gonna be our first time. Jaden Davis is out there with his nice Atlanta hat and ready to go. We do it. Six and a half minute drive. Jaden Davis drops back, throws right. He's got his man. The one thing from being around Jaden Davis that I've learned is he knows exactly what ball to throw. And when I when I say about, what I, what I mean by that is he knows when to put a lot of heat. Right? He knows when to layer the ball over a defense, and he knows when to take some off and just put the ball in his wide open receiver's hands. And that's what you saw there. Beautiful toss. Jaden Davis is is one of the main attractions here. He really is. There's been a lot of buzz about him the whole time. I'm I'm pumped to see him. Tom, how are you doing down there? Um. AJ Green just denied me an interview. Oh. Not not too pumped about that. Get up one. and get it. Get but up it and get it. it. Sorry, Tom, that was a crazy a catch. No, not a touchdown, just a crazy right. catch. AJ Green is so intense that he's like, I can't do an interview right now. I can't do an interview. I get it. 
I get it. But you don't turn me down, all right? So, again, Carolina Stars is going to win this game. Let's get it, Jaden Davis. Hey, I get, need one right here. Hey, I Tom, need one from Jaden Davis. Tom, I say go spear him. What'd you say? I say go spear him right now. Go tackle him. Come on. I don't um, see why he, not. He, he looks like he's still working out, and I, uh, I can't say the same. <laughs> Davis drops back. He's looking right. Oh, oh, oh my god. He tried the OBJ. OBJ. We so that's one of those catches that you see, I don't know, what once a weekend, once a year. Good 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 try to bring that down there by Rogers. Yeah, I mean, and in the route, he kinda got taken, the route got taken away by the DB. Does mm -hmm. a great job of collision him. And then he tries to go up and then a lot of times I always say, go up with two, but that ball's just a little too high. He has to try to go get it with one hand and he almost makes a spectacular catch. It was close, it was close. He's a four star, eleventh overall. Four uh, star, you got a 40 inch vertical, my goodness. 40 inch vertical in the class of 2023, as there's a sack. Oh no, he didn't get him. Now they're saying that he did get him. That is a well timed blitz. But uh, do you think it was too early? Hey, right, only at one score, and you can up goal by two. We've seen how quickly people score, and referees kind of in the way. Get out of there. You don't let our guy. You you don't let our guy overtime Tom get in your huddle, but you're all in the way on the, of the quarterback. Hey, get out of the way. I don't think it was too early for the blitz because they're up nine, and that first drive by the Trillion Boys. That was a six and a half minute drive. All yeah. of a sudden, we're halfway through this game, just like that. But do you see another six and a half minute drive? Hey, and it was a lot of controversy, sacks. They, they, they got a new quarterback in, but I don't think it's going to go like that again. You see that? That ball comes out way faster. Jonte Cook. Jonte Cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. We don't, we don't just start calling Jonte cooking, like actively cooking, because every time he gets the ball, something good happens. Hey, we talked about it earlier, and I'm just predicting it on this drive here. Grant Gray, he had the game-winning catch in, game, in day two of pool play. Look out for number eight. I think he's going to make a big catch in this game. Tom, what's going on down there? Come on, bro. Here with Jack Luttrell, Tennessee commit, correct? Yes, sir. There we go. And TikTok, just Amazing. superstar famous. How are you feeling about playing against the number one quarterback in his class, Jaden Davis? You know, Jaden's my guy. I talk to him a lot. Uh, we go back and forth talking smack and everything. It's good competition. Can't let him beat me. But, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a fun game. All right, but if we get a pick, right? We get a, we get an interception. What, what are we doing? Oh, celebration! Once yeah. I get a pick, we going straight to the goalpost. We put on the cape and then we dunking on the goalpost. That's all I need. That's all I want. See, Tom's lying. We need a pick. Let's get it, Jack. Tom's lying because all he does in the office is TikTok dances, and you know he was ready to go there. <laughs> With, he's got the cape on and all. Tom is such a fair weather fan, though. He just told us that he was pulling for Jake Davis. Yeah, wow. All of a sudden, he meets a TikTok star and hey, he's look. jumping ship. You meet one TikTok star and you didn't jump ship. Look, I love TikTok, okay? It pays the bills. Hey, I'm back in, Jay. Very nice, well-placed ball on the outside shoulder. Tries to get vertical. Defense is there. I mean, the thing is, the Trillion Boys, or Trillionaires, as they're so conveniently named by our overtime time, they, they are well well poised, right? They, they they started off the week. It was a lot of hype coming in. Mm -hmm. we, we TikTok mm -hmm. and all these things. And I think it kind of got to them. They've kind of settled down, and they've been a lot more exemplary as far as playing football. Football is the most important thing. Drops back. Touchdown, John Day Cook. Let that man cook. Oh, hey, 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 hey. 15 nothing, trillion boys. Our, our on-field announcer, Bria Janelle, gets in on the celebration. I mean. Go off, Bria. He, he is cooking. Cooking. He, if he's not on his team, they might be in trouble. Because every time they need to play, who's making it? John Day Cook. Look at, look at Bria dancing there in the end zone. Every time somebody's hungry, who's making the play? John Day Cook. The boy is cooking. Good sack. So it'll be 15 nothing trillion boys. Carolina Stars get the ball back. Hey, 98. This is why I was saying I like that blitz in the possession before yeah. because now all of a sudden, 16 nothing. Yeah. That's a, that's a big hole for the Carolina Stars to come out of. Yeah, definitely. It's a big hole, not insurmountable, but it is a big hole in itself. But the game's still going. Let's see what they can do. Absolutely. Uh oh, Jaden Davis came out of the shirt. 
Yeah, two cell work here. Let's go pack, hey, Tom, here. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. What's going on down there? I finally got oh, a hold of AJ. Green. You turned me down before. I'm sorry. You're busy, right? I'm sorry. I, was, I had to get really chilly over there. Yo, ever since you, ever since you showed up, the team's been on fire. What's the huh? difference? Man, the difference is day one, our head coach was not here, and our wee wee was not here. So the energy was not here. The pressure wasn't here. Well, you also could have let me coach. That could have worked. Why didn't you? I needed somebody. You gotta pay me last a lot time, of money if you want that. <laughs> last I heard, we got the first interception of the tournament. And then got the first touchdown of the tournament. I'm like, oh, we're good. Right, Ten minutes take, later, they go, y'all lost. You taking like, this whole thing? I need to. Let's get it. I need to because in four months, we made the Trillion Boys the second most followed team on social media. And they look at us like, oh, it's a YouTube team. We need the national We got to stay chilly. We got to stay chilly. Let's get it. Tom with, the pers Tom with the persistence there. Tom just, look, Tom can't decide who he's rooting he for. Won. He was just so upset with <laughs> With AJ Green, but now all good, all good. You guys would want to be friends with him. Show that time. Another third down. That blitz is proving very, very good, like you said. Oh boy. Listen, Got to listen. use two hands. Hey, I, I just don't get it. 90, I just don't get it. 98's about to go full. Get I, off my lawn right here. I just don't get it. You're down by two scores, and you're trying to get a highlight with one hand. The ball is literally handed to you from the middle of the field, and you're trying to catch the ball with one hand. I don't understand it. This is not the time down 16 to catch with one hand. It's not the time. Now, everyone out on this field is looking over at Big 98 right now. Everyone is looking it's at 98 who's time. screaming. He's screaming. Shot down the field. That would have been a first down. You would have been able to continue the drive, make a comeback, and now you're on the sideline and the Trillion Boys are back on the field. I don't get it. Trillion Boys up 18 nothing with what, the ball. What's more important? A one-hand catch or a first-down catch to make sure you get a chance to win the game. Because if you don't win the game, you're not going to be on the overtime Instagram. I'm just telling you. That's true. That's true. Hey, 98, I'm, you know I'm a Giants fan. You, you, sound, you sound like all those years of Tom Coughlin. I had to listen to Tom Coughlin say that all those years. That's what you sound like right and now. And they got him two Super Bowls. You see David Tyree use how many? Two hands and a head. And a head. And a head. You mean, what are we doing? Unbelievable. So see, we got the young guy. This drive, this might be their, their strategy. Take a few sacks, waste a lot of time. Six minute drive last time, they only got four minutes left. Oh, what a beautiful toss. What a catch, what a throw. I, I want to see this replay now. It was a great catch by who else? John uh -huh. Cook, but unbelievable throw there by Jack Stupin. Just dropped that in there, dropped it. The touch, now, the sauce. Trillion boys, up 18. I'm not against one hand catches. You're up to 18 and you're cooking like he is. You go get it with one hand, make sure you catch it. But if you're down 18, catch the ball with two hands. Nice job by Cook making yet another play. Hey, if you catch it, it's fine. If you drop it, we got an issue. Cam Newton kicked the guy off the field on uh, day one for reaching with one hand. Hey, I'm worried you're about to jump out of this booth and kick him off, off the field right now. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> when Cam Newton kicked the kid off the field, they were up like 20 or something like that. Like they were up and he's like, get off the field. We're done. Good, good. We're not doing that. I'm cool with that. I love it. I absolutely love it. Don't accept anything in a in a win that you would wouldn't accept in a loss. Uh, same. Second down, second down here. We're coming up on the three-minute mark. Trillion Boys looking to go up 24 nothing. I'll be honest with you, Big 98. I thought this was gonna be a little bit of a closer game. I mean, we got two great teams here. Carolina Stars, obviously one of the better teams here. It's been a little lopsided. I think the key was that first drive was six minutes long, mm -hmm. right? So now a lot of pressure put on you because half the time is almost gone when you get the ball. Is that inbounds? Intercepted. Intercepted. I couldn't tell if he was inbounds or not. That'll help the comeback. That'll help the comeback, and all of a sudden, Carolina Stars have some life. They're getting the ball back. They, they, they are down by 15, but a nice pick in the Burberry towel. You know, we love swag here at mm -hmm, OT7. Mm -hmm. Got a t little toe tap, little toe drag, and the Burberry scarf. And the Burberry <laughs> scarf. Hey, whatever you got to do for swag. It's not quite a towel, but it's a scarf. We'll take a Burberry scarf. Hey, DG. Oh, oh, deep ball, wide open, See what wide I mean? open. Now they need to hurry up and get another play, get in the end zone as quickly as possible, and they can really get the comeback rolling. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Cook. Hey, we see you balling out here. He turns around and gives us a big smile. Yeah, yeah thumbs up. He casually yeah. over here chilling casually, with us, like he's calling the game. You know. You know you're feeling good when you're all big and you're sitting on the broadcast booth. First down, goal to go. Let's see if see, Carolina this, Stars can get in the end zone. Getting here. back in the huddle is not good. Mm -hmm. you, you need to have a play call. Especially with a minute 20 left. Tick, 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 tick. Back in my dick, cop. You hear you heard Anthony Boone sell him cop, right? That's corner post. Yup. Hey, you're stacked. You got a big ball here. Hurry up, you got a big ball. Hurry up. A lot of time. A lot of time. No, come on. Looking right, looking left. In the end zone, incomplete. Great play on the breakup. We have 50 seconds left. Trillion boys up nine. Hey, Tom. Hey, hey, Tom. Hey, yep. hey, Tom. We were talking before about Grant Gray's touchdown yesterday. It was an electric moment. Talk to me about that. What's up, fellas? Hey, Tom, we were just talking about Grant Gray's touchdown from yesterday. Oh, my God. Play of the, probably play of the weekend, right? I, I mean, I think so. I mean, he jumped over a dude, wins the game. Look, I'm, that's like, you see it on the jumbo chime right now. Oh. What? He grabs the ball what? off of the guy's it's head. It's like I'm pass course. interference, too, and he and still it, caught it. And that's why they stay truly. That's why they stay truly. Oh, now we have Jonte Cook at, oh, they call it false start. Man, I was ready to see Jonte Cook at QB. He's trying to do it all. He's trying to do it all. This man does everything. Trillion boys 18, Carolina Stars 9. God, dominated. Tri hey, Trillion boys, they are undefeated with AJ Green back yep. on the sideline with them. Undefeated since that day one debacle. Debacle. <laughs> <One> two. <laughs> well, if you dig the content, Make sure you like and subscribe and also comment. Can't leave out the comment. We got a, we got a lot more games for you coming up. For Alex and Tom, I'm Devin Gardner. See you on the next one, guys. Stay with us. Peace.